day, I want your touch In every way, I can't give it up Anything, just to feel the rush This just ain't enough hi guys welcome to today's video thank you so much for stopping by so uh today's video uh there are several things that i'm just going to share with you so uh today we were in town yeah i was shopping for a tv for a client yeah this is one of my good clients yeah who wanted a tv to be sent to uh, migori uh yeah so i finally found uh, the tv that she wanted and we had to send it to Migori. So before uh, uh, paying for the TV, they have to uh, test it first. If it's working, yeah, it's a smart TV. So they have to test if it's really working before they package and seal uh, the TV for you. So we got to send this TV by G4S. Yeah, so it's safer to send uh, via G4S than via uh, this uh buses yeah so uh we opted to send via g4s and it arrived safely thank you so much for all those who have been giving me business for my clients uh, for those who tr trust in me and send me their money uh to do errands for them thank you so much may god bless you guys may your pockets never run dry so uh here we are packaging and we will get to send it to g4s <laughs> So after running the errands for the TV, I went to shop for a for a bed yeah i've really been wanting to do something about my bedroom it's been a while i've sung that song for so long and as for me whenever i my mind wants to do something it never settles until i do that thing yeah so i've been so much disturbed by the state of my bedroom so i really wanted a bed and uh, i've window shopped se from several furniture shops and i've settled with this particular one which is in Don Home around Manyanja Road. Yeah, it's a very nice furniture shop. You can see that uh, it has several seats uh, that are that are of very good quality, guys. These seats are just they are just perfect guys they are just the best seats here and uh the finishing on these seats it's just the best they have leather they have uh, normal material seats all designs that you would want and uh, they also make dining sets you can see here a frame of a dining set that is being uh created for a for a client yeah they also make uh these metallic uh dining set dining sets here and uh, they are just perfect seats. The top of their dining sets are usually marble. Yeah. And uh, they are long lasting. So uh, at this point, I was just uh, trying to explain to the fundi what I wanted. It's not something complicated. It's just a simple, the normal uh, furnitures, the normal beds that everyone has. Yeah. So uh, we were bargain We are also trying to bargain. And uh, yeah, we managed to... I uh, seal the deal, so yeah. Every day I want your touch, and every way I can't give it up. Anything just to feel the rush. This just ain't enough. So on this day, I decided to do some cleaning in this bedroom. I want I want to do cleaning in this house room by room. So I I today was uh, the kids' bedroom, and so I just had to start with the window. The curtains were not dirty, so the first thing was to 
first of all wipe the windows and as usual i was using the vinegar mixture to do this so what you do uh, for those who are asking about the vine vinegar mixture you just take a uh, vinegar and water and you mix 50 50 uh, on the ra ratio of uh, half half of each and uh, you use it to wipe your surfaces and even the windows in case you don't have uh, those other cleaning detergents <music> So I'm also going to wipe uh, the frames of this of their beds because a lot of dust passes through these windows and uh, normally you will find uh, kids get to start coughing uh, because uh, the, the headboards uh, trap a lot of dust in them. Until I found you Oh, I'm not gonna let you go Oh, I'm gonna hold you close It's hard Cause it took five years Until I found you But we're just getting started Baby I can't control myself Lately Oh, but you know that you know that you know that you know that you know I will also be changing their bed sheets and uh, actually I wanted to wash these duvets. Every time I remove their, I change their duvets, I get to wash them. I don't just keep them like that. I get to wash them for the next time use. But uh, when I sucked, when I psyched myself on washing them, I just, all of a sudden I just felt tired and uh, I left them for tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow I will wake up very early and uh, clean the duvets and the beddings that I have removed yeah i don't want them to stay in the house dirty so i will have to do that so for my for the floors i'm just using normal water and uh, powder soap plus jig to clean the floors <laughs>
So today's uh, bed sheets will be this uh, cow print black and white uh, fitted bed sheets. I love them because they are fitted. Uh, so they, f they, uh, yeah, th whenever I whenever i use them uh the next day or other days that i'm making the beds i don't need to tuck them in because they remain intact on the beds yeah that's one reason i love them and i also love the print uh the black and white pop so well yeah just that they would go so much well with uh, some gray duvets or uh, plain plain duvets uh but uh, right now i don't have any plain duvets in this room and i've not had time to go to Gikomba to get some duvet covers that I really wanted for this room yeah but I think I will be going tomorrow to get one for myself so if I come across theirs too I won't hesitate to buy them uh, some duvet covers So I'm done with the room and uh, this is how it looks right now and I really love how it looks so fresh and clean and uh, I will have to do a refresh of this room sometime because all the deco I had put in this room uh, is no longer there because of the kids one reason or the other the frames fell down and all that so I will need to do a very good refresh in this room. So the next thing we we were doing uh is to prepare some breakfast uh yeah this was uh late in the evening so I needed to prepare some uh breakfast for the next day and I'll be preparing uh 
as some croissants that have uh, some smokies inside. Yeah, you are supposed to use uh, hot dogs, but uh, I didn't get hot dogs in the nearest supermarket, so I'll be using uh, smokies instead. So what I've done, I've mixed my milk to the, together with sugar, little salt and yeast. I mixed together and then the mixture I've just poured in the flour. The flour I'm using two and three quarter cups flour. Yeah. So I will knead the dough until it becomes evenly even and very soft. I've covered the dough to let it rest for around 30 minutes so as it rests and uh, yeah I'm going to go ahead and uh, roast my sausages so I'm using just uh, I'm smearing oil on the pan just a little bit and I will put in my smokies and turn them just to let them uh, a bit golden brown and then I will just remove them. Thirty minutes later, my dough is ready. So I'll just press it, press it down. Then I will go ahead and divide my dough. I uh, roll my dough uh, like this around. Then I will cut it into equal pieces. This time I cut mine in uh, eight and uh, nine nine pieces. Yeah. So I will divide into nine pieces and just roll the into bowls. Then I will be rolling as I wrap my smokies.
I'm going to use my baking tray. I'm going to cover my baking tray with the foil. Is it a foil or a film? Yeah. So and then place the uh, place the croissants on it, and uh, I will cover it for 15 minutes. Yeah. Fifteen minutes later, I will uncover them and uh, apply uh, an egg on top. I will brush the egg on top and then I will just bake them for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. By this time, I have already preheated my oven. So I will just put them inside for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Guys, if you don't have such things like a brush, a oil brush, please uh, don't hesitate to buy. You can buy a set of kitchen uh, spoons that always comes with these things they come really in handy when uh, doing such uh, kitchen shows So this is our final product. They were very yummy and uh, the kids really enjoyed. So you can try this uh, for your kids. And uh, let me just say thank you so much for watching. If you have watched till this far, if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new one. Please also like, share and leave a comment down below. And let's get to 5K subscribers soon. See you in my next one. Goodbye all. I love you. A Norfolk night The world is cold We stand surrounded We are not alone Within my referee There's only light Without an armor We stand and fight